Hey Nine Rounders, kicking Kins here, and today I've got Drew the captain here with me. We are going to make some infused waters. Infused waters are a great way to increase your water consumption, especially in the summer months whenever it's really hot and you need a little bit of extra water. They're also a great sweet treat. It helps you feel like you're drinking something besides water, but without getting those empty calories. It's also low in calorie, so it tastes good. And for some people, that's a little bit more desirable than water. And of course, with it being kind of sweet, it's something that even your kids might enjoy having at home when you're playing outside in the yard. The best thing is that it's easy, right? For sure. We have some great fruits. We got some basil even here. Um, anybody can really chop this up. It can be something fun to do with kids or your spouse or even by yourself if you want to. It's really quick, it's really efficient, and again, it's a great low calorie way to get uh, a lot of water in your body. All right, Mackenzie, so let's make some of these infused waters. What do we got today? What do we need? Tell us all the details. All right, so today we're going to be making two different infused waters. We're going to make watermelon and basil, Ooh. and then we'll also make strawberry and lemon, which is my personal favorite. So all you need are the fruits that you'd like, some water, a pitcher, a jug, something that you can use to put it in. You'll need a cutting board, a knife, and then, of course, the fruits that you're going to cut. Mackenzie, when it comes to how much fruit and basil and all that stuff, I see that we have this stuff out here. Is there a specific amount that you need? Not necessarily. It's really up to you. Some people like a really subtle hint of the flavor. I like a little bit more, especially whenever it says strawberry lemon because that's my favorite. It's kind of like strawberry lemonade but without the sugar. Yeah. So it's really up to you for how much fruit you want. And you can kind of play around with it. If it's not strong enough, you could always go back and add a little bit more. Awesome. Uh, definitely, it's something fun to experiment with try a bunch of different recipes. Mm -hmm. we, we're gonna do two today. We'll have a couple more for you guys at the end of the video as well that we like and we're gonna have on the member portal. Um, but there's so many options for you that you can utilize just depending on your taste and, and what kind of flavors you like. And another thing to keep in mind is the longer you let them kind of mesh in the fridge together, the more flavorful it will be. If, you, if you drink it right away, it's not gonna have as much flavor as if you let it sit overnight. All right, Mackenzie, I think it's time. Let's get started. All right. First, you want to make sure that you're washing the fruits that you will be using. Next, you want to chop or slice your fruits using your knife and your cutting board. You don't have to cut them to a specific size, you just want to make sure that they'll fit nicely into your water pitcher or jug. Next, add the fruit and the water to your pitcher or jug. After that, you want to make sure that you put your water in the fridge so that it can get nice and cold and so the flavors can mesh to your liking. Wow, look at that. That was pretty easy, but these look amazing. They're beautiful. I'm so excited to try these. Yeah, so you may notice we actually have two different types of jugs here. So this one, we just dropped the fruit in and added the water. And in this one, there's actually a canister in the center and you put the fruit and the basil in there. And so it just kind of seeps out just a little bit at a time to flavor the water. You could also use just like a regular pitcher for your kitchen, just a tea pitcher yeah. or something like that. They also make the water infused water bottles as well so that it's just an individual serving. You can put just a little bit of fruit in there and have your water on the go. So that's a great option as well. Yeah, Mackenzie, there's also some other flavors that we have mm -hmm. in the member portal. What were those? There's cucumber lemon as well as cucumber mint. Those are great options as well. And really you can combine just any fruits that you think would be good. I like to add raspberry with the strawberry lemon as well sometimes too. Yeah, I really like orange in a lot of my mm -hmm. infused waters as well. These are obviously great options. I can't wait to try them here in a second. Um, but again, whatever your taste and flavors are, give them a try. Get that water in your body, right? All right, Drew, I'll try your watermelon basil if you'll try my strawberry lemon water. Absolutely, let's do this. Let's try these things out. They look amazing. Let's see how they taste. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Yeah, it's definitely good. All right guys, so there's your tips. Remember, stick to the member portal, try out these, try out some other flavors, and we'll see you again soon for more of these great lifestyle and pro tips.